Welcome to Saver Indiana. I'm Dean Wilson, your host, and with me is our instructional designer, Kevin Gardner. And this week, we're in Carroll County in Northwest Indiana. Kevin, what are some of the reasons why these Hoosiers love to travel this great state? Many people travel for culinary tourism, but they also enjoy shopping, sporting activities, and cultural events. And this is a community that is actively and intentionally rebranding itself to appeal to all these types of tourists. Carroll County has a wealth of natural attributes. Beautiful Lake Freeman, great fishing, and boating spots on the Wabash River and Wildcat Creek. Beautiful golf courses. But it needed a plan to attract more visitors to the community. Historian Bonnie Maxwell's family has lived in Carroll County since the 1800s and she thought she had retired when she had returned home. But she and a cadre of talented volunteers are sparking new life in the old hometown. We're a county of only 20,000 people, and but there are a few hundred people <laughs> who are very intimately involved in many of these efforts. And were it not for volunteers, these things couldn't be done. How can you get the most out of a visit to Carroll County? The Carroll County web portal is a great place to start. We've also developed a number of walking, biking, and driving trails to appeal to the interest of every type of tourist. And copies can be found at various locations around the county. I'd also like you to talk to Susie Dyke, owner of the Grapevine Boutique in Flora. Susie is one of a core of women who are actively studying and implementing the techniques to develop shopping destinations in various corners of the county. It is extremely impressive to note that this effort is being sought and spearheaded by women who live in some of our smaller communities. The shopping destination is where we merchants have to uh, recreate ourselves sometimes and make a reason for our customers to come to us and ensure that it's a pleasant shopping experience and give them something that they can't get anywhere else. So we let them know what's in our community and we do marketing for one another by referring our clients to each other. So in Flora, Susie attracts visitors to her boutique with custom jewelry to match special outfits for her clients who travel up to 30 to 75 miles to have Susie help tailor their wardrobes. Susie also works with the flower shop, which not only sells flowers, but a large selection of gifts for the home. They in turn work with Eikenberry Furniture, who sell upholstered furniture and lamps made in Indiana. And before we say farewell to Flora, we're directed to a stop in the Porcupine Truffle for lunch and an indulgent dessert and confection. Likewise, in Burlington, visitors are encouraged to visit the Burlington Scoop for Ashby ice cream before visiting the Painted Pony for antiques and a latte and topping it all off with meat straight from the smoker at the dinner bell. Likewise, in Delphi, a stop at the Martha Rose Decor Shop breeds a visit to the Stonehouse Bakery and Restaurant or the Sandwich Shop and the Times Past Antique Shop, the Carroll County Museum, and Mitchell's Mexican Food. These shopping groups really expand the experience and make it more fun. For Saver Indiana, I'm destination shopper Kevin Gardner. And I'm culinary tourist Dean Wilson.